cool. <laughs> okay, any minute now. Welcome terug bij mijn YouTube kanaal. Zo so, van jullie het weer Instagram gevraagd hoe ik mijn haren krul. En dit is niet mijn sterk punt nie. So ek het hulp weer ingebring van mijn vriendin Tash, van Tash Pops. Ik ga naar Instagram en hoe heeft die onder veel link. Zij is een haarstylist en make-up artist. Maar ons gebruik die krul tank wat ik elke dag gebruik. Zij gebruik die zelf die in. En dit gaat net een basic tutorial wees voor een paar makkelijke krullen wat jou 10 minuten gaan vat. Dus so, ons begin nou met mijn haren wat net traagheid is. Dit is mijn haren lijkt als ik het niet meer in hand en harder gebloed draai het. Um, ek het een Brazilian blowout of micro keratin treatment, zoals so dit het noem. So ek het eindelijk ons natuurlijk verschrikkelijke krillen gehoor. So hierdie is hoe mijn haren lijkt als ik het niet gewas het en rol weg droog geblaas het. So ons gaan niet meer begin. Tash gaan nou inspring en dan gaan sy vir die verduidelik wat om te doen. Jammer, my honde is buiten toe gemok en hulle is nie happy daarmee nie. So verskoon nie, geraas rei. Ek sal hulle gaan stil mop. Hi everyone, so today we're going to be doing a very simple hairstyle on Katrain. We're going to do like a curl wave mm -hmm. and I'll be showing you very simple ways to do that. And it's like super easy and very easy. Like 10 minutes. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, you can do it at home, it's awesome. Mm. Okay, so there's no product in her hair. So we're going to just start off because I think her hair is like a day old. Try keep, don't wash your hair the day of if you want to curl it. Yeah. Try wash it the night before just so that it holds a bit better. And if you do do that, use a little bit of conditioner only at the ends of the hair. Mm. Okay, not on the top because then your hair won't hold. So we're going to section the hair. I like to do it this way, it's just easier and then you can also do it on yourself. So we're going to section hair pieces down like that. You take a very little piece of hair. I would give it a very slight tease just for more hold. And with a Babbler's hair curler, you can find this at Clicks. Yeah, really, like really cheap. Super cheap. And really great. You can yeah. do like basically everything with this guy. And everyone uses this one anyway. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so you take a section of your hair. You don't have to open the barrel, but I do. And then you twist the hair as you're applying it into the barrel. And always away from the face. Always away from the face. You don't want a cool coming into your face. Yeah. And then you hold it there for about five seconds. Obviously your barrel must be nice and hot before you start. Mm. Can you imagine? <laughs> Not switching it on. <laughs> and then you just release it. Let it cool in your hands for a few seconds. And then you let it down. Now, you don't want to leave this curl, you don't want to brush it out immediately because if you brush it out then it will drop a lot faster. We haven't used any hairspray or anything yet, we will do that at the end. If you want and your hair is difficult and doesn't hold a curl, then you can spray hairspray before. So now before you curl or? Before you curl. Just a little bit, not too close to the hair, just a bit further okay. back um, so it doesn't burn your hair. Okay. So now we're going to go in with the second piece and go right down. Once again, taking a small section, don't take the pieces too thick otherwise your hair won't curl as much. And then give it a slight tease. And Tash, how long do you keep the strand on the tongue? Just for about five seconds. Okay. You can keep it for longer, but try not to leave it for too long because then you will burn your hair. Burn your hair, yeah. So as you can see, I'm just twisting it in the barrel and holding it. The dogs want... are not happy. <laughs> they want to see. Yeah. Mm. So once again, releasing it, just giving it a bit of time to cool down and then releasing it. Obviously your hair is going to look a little bit funny now, but promise you at the end it will look great. And then we're going to go in with the third section. Should I turn it a little bit? Yes. We're going to go in with the third section now, once again, going all the way straight down, giving it a little bit of a tease. So you put your hair into the barrel, you twist and twist and twist and twist. Don't worry about these little pieces that are like coming out at the end because you don't want your your ends to be curled as well. You want it a bit more modern. So you keep the ends straight? Yeah, you can okay. keep the ends straight. And then you repeat the step throughout the hair. If you want, you can do a touch test. Try not burn yourself, but you just touch the hair a little bit to see how warm it is. And if you feel that it's warm enough, then you can release. Once again, allowing it to cool down. So we're gonna repeat the step throughout the whole head. Once we get to this side, I'll show you how to curl from that side. So y'all can just tell the viewers when you started doing fashion. So, like I'm working on set. I started about 10 years ago 
Shucks. And <laughs> I did. Oh, I don't know why I'm surprised, but still. But we so, only worked together maybe four years ago? Yes. Yeah. And then we instantly, well, she clicked with me instantly. Yeah. What, you did it with me? Yeah, no, I know. I did. <laughs> but I think, you know, Rude. you just fell in love. I did. Me. I did. <laughs> that is true. Both our lives improved drastically. <laughs> And then it turns out we lived across each other. Yes. Um, so we were neighbors. Yeah. And then Katrine used to use and abuse me for my skills. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> jokes, no jokes. Jokes, no jokes. Um, okay, Tash, I think people always have certain ideas about working in the industry, um, either like from whatever perspective, photographer, model, yeah. hairstylist, makeup artist, and you do both. Yes. What maybe tell like one of the craziest or most difficult shoots you've had to done, whether that was, for example, I know also working outside, you know, with heat and wind and rain, that's always difficult. That's yeah. Thing, especially for you, if it's like in I Cape Town. There's been quite a few situations where jobs have been hard. Mm. One that I can remember clearly is when like it was raining and we had to work, do a TV commercial outside and we literally had to eat in the pouring rain. Oh my word. Um, so I think like situations like that are quite hard. Yeah. And you kind of just have to go with it. Because you have no choice. Like because you, can't you have complain. no choice. Yeah, you exactly. Can't. I think people think it's always very glamorous, but it's not. Yeah, it's actually far from glamorous. Yeah. Um, well you change like often I have to change in the back of the car. Yeah. Or like I say, you eat on the side of the road. And you work really long hours as well, mm. um, which is also quite hard. But mm. I think you've got to be really tough skinned to be in this industry and mm. There's a lot of amazing people as well, like a lot of amazing models and photographers and stylists and makeup artists, and we all become friends. So at yeah. the end of it, we all become like it's a family. Yeah. And Tash, how do you find if, you know, I think with our jobs, it's difficult to work with a team, you know, where there's maybe one team member that, you know, is making it very difficult for everyone. Um, yeah. I think if, it's, if you're working like in an office nine to five, you can maybe go to your own office, but working on set, you're in everyone's space the mm. whole time. And like you say, it's often a long job. Yeah. So you're on set with people for 13, 15 hours. How have you dealt with certain situations where you know you're being abused, um, you know, or someone's being extremely rude to you or taken advantage? How do you deal with that? Because I find it quite difficult, especially being the model, if it's maybe if it's the hairstylist or makeup artist and they're literally in your face or in your space or the photographer's screaming at you. Mm. There's nowhere you can go, cry and then come back. I think it is quite difficult, um, especially in situations like that, because you earn each other's space and you're always on top of each other. And sometimes, mm. I mean, it's not necessarily what you want to be doing, but because the job, that's what it entails. Yeah. So I think, you know, sometimes you just kind of have to take a few minutes out to yourself mm. just to re like recharge almost. recharge and mm. then understand that you know it is a job and it's nothing personal and yeah you know which is always easy to say afterwards but when you think of it yeah when it's... you're in it you just frustrated and yeah. you want to just like <laughs> scream <laughs> scream and shout and uh but scream into a pillow yeah yeah sometimes you just you know just kind of have to ignore it and move on and yeah. not let it affect you but most of us in the industry are friends, which is great. And I, I think, think, yeah, that's nice of working in Cape Town, where you, chances are you know at least one person on yes. set. Where if it's an international client, I've found sometimes like if it's a German or French client, maybe you're the only one who speaks English and it's mm. quite, it can be quite lonely. Yeah, it gets quite tough because you don't understand a thing and then you have to rely on just looking at facial expressions and hand gestures and... <laughs> So it does get quite hard, but I think after like the first day, then everyone becomes friends and yeah, which is quite nice. Yeah. Have you ever saying this as as I sit here? Have you ever burnt a model thing? I actually haven't, but I have burnt a model's forehead <gasps> by mistake. <laughs> I hope by mistake, not by accident. <laughs> that wasn't it. Wasn't my fault. Well, it was my fault, but not my fault. She moved. She moved. Um, yeah, no, <laughs> but need to sit super still. Luckily, she was fine with it and didn't kill me. Yeah, shucks. So I'm just gonna tell you guys now. So once we've done this side of the face, now we're gonna go into this side of the face. It, it, face. it is the same technique, but we are gonna be curling it away from the face, so the barrel is gonna be. You're gonna hold the barrel differently. Differently, yeah. I think a lot of people maybe get the one side is away, but then yes. they continue curling the same way. Yes. Which means this side will be inwards. 
So once again, we have taken a section. I don't know if you just want to turn to the mm -hmm. side so people can see, section downwards. And then once again, just give it a very slight tease. So now I'm going to hold the barrel upside down and same technique, just give it the hair a bit of a twist and hold for a few seconds. Let it cool for a few seconds once again. And you can see the curls actually going outwards. Mm -hmm. If the girl had to go that way, you would know it's going the wrong way. Mm -hmm. So always outwards away from the face. It just gives it a more pretty effect on the face. I've actually seen professional people do it wrong. Yeah. Yeah. And it's bad. And then as the model, you, you can't say anything. You just sit there thinking on my word. What's nice about this is it's really quick and easy to do in the morning. Mm -hmm. It doesn't take a lot of effort. And even if you, you wear it all day and you sleep on it, the next day it'll still, it'll just be... It'll have that nice little kink to yeah, it. Yeah, like almost like more of a beach wave. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you can also create a beach wave with, the, with this look. You just don't have to hold it for so long. And you can take smaller sections. You can section the hair differently as well, which gives you so many different looks. Mm -hmm. As you can see, we haven't put any product in the hair yet. We will do all of that afterwards. Obviously, you can prep your hair beforehand if you want with a bit of mousse or whatever, just to help. Hold it. Hold. Mm -hmm. You can see my sections aren't very big, because if you go bigger than that, you're gonna struggle to put fit it into the barrel and also it will just, it won't curl as much. Once again, putting the barrel down and then twisting. Always remember to twist, it gives it a nice beautiful wave. To twist the strand? Yes. Okay. So you keep twisting it around the barrel. Every now and then I do a little touch test just to feel how hot the hair gets. I have to keep focus, yeah. Focus model, focus. <laughs> <laughs> what is your favorite hairstyle to create for a job? Is it something... I like it more natural. I don't like going too overboard with hair. Yeah. I think the more natural the hair, the better. Yeah. You know, it's more modern as well. Like later on, when you're looking at the photo in 10 years time, you it's still modern. Yeah. Um, so I love a beach wave. Yeah. Um, even dead straight is really nice. And I think like the more undone the hair looks the better. Yeah, which is always I think and people don't know this, but if you is shooting and the brief is natural makeup and natural hair, it actually takes the longest. Yeah, it does. Which and is you ironic. Think it takes <laughs> the quickest, but no. No, it takes so long. So a lot of hard work goes into that natural look. Yeah. So as you can see, once again, just allow you I'm bouncing the hair just to allow the cold air to come through. And what is your advice for maybe someone who, if they style their hair, it doesn't really hold? Even if they put, obviously you just put a lot of product in, like yeah, a lot I think of hairspray you, or? I think you need to put a lot of product in and a lot of hairspray. Um, also too much hairspray kind of makes the hair heavy and makes it fall. Mm. But um, there's a like, not using a lot of conditioner also makes such a huge difference. Mm -hmm. And if your hair does, is prone to falling out, then like I said, wash it the night before, allow it to like sleep on your hair and allow it to actually just be a bit a, dirtier. Be a bit dirtier. Yeah. Um, or you can even maybe add, I don't know, I'm asking you, um, some dry shampoo. Which will dry shampoo texture. is also amazing. Yeah, it gives yeah. it a lot of texture to the hair, which also helps. Yeah. So there's lots of little tricks that you can do to mm. help. Even if your hair does fall out, I think it's quite pretty. You don't it'll still it, look better than it'll nothing. It'll still look better. Yeah, yeah. agreed. So this is a really easy hairstyle that you can do at home. Mm. Um, I think after like one or two tries of trying to figure out how to hold the barrel and how to just like which way to curl the hair, I think you'll get it right. Yeah. It takes me about 10 minutes in the morning to do this on myself. And, and I've you got, have a lot of hair. I've got a lot of hair. Yeah. I find this easier than blow drying my hair. Because mm. I get so confused <laughs> with the brush and the hair dryer and yeah, this actually is tiring on your arms, but <laughs> also just giving that time to cool down. I'm going to leave the hair like this for a few minutes just to... So if you want, you can do your hair first in the morning, allow it to cool down, do your makeup, and then once you've done your makeup, yeah. you can brush out your curls. Obviously now it looks a little bit crazy and very tiny vibes. You'll see once we brush it out, it'll actually become really beautiful mm -hmm. waves. So this is what it would look like at the end. You'll see curls are coming that way and then curls are coming this way because we're Remember, we're curling away from the face. So you can actually see it's already starting to form its nice natural curl on its own. I mean, it's really starting to drop beautifully. So even if you wanted to, you could just shake your head upside down and then you'd get a beautiful curl out of that. You wouldn't have to then brush it out. If you are worried about your hair falling out too quickly, just literally throw it upside down, give it a big shake and back up. And then you don't have to run rush in. You don't have to run any brush through it. So I'm just gonna spray a little bit of hairspray in it now. 
just before I brush it out. You can do this before, you can do it after, it really doesn't matter. But just close your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're gonna, I'm, I take a nice wide comb just because I want this, I don't want the curls to drop out quickly. So then this just helps break open the curls. So you're gonna gently just brush. And then you just keep brushing it. And the more you brush it, the more shape the curls will get. If you want, after you've curled it and you've brushed it out and you see that you want to go in for a second curl, perhaps in the front, you can always do that, which I'm going to do. You can already see it's given such a nice, pretty natural wave. So I'm going to go in once again with the barrel, just in the front pieces, because now they've already had time to heat and cool down and now they'll hold better with product. So now you go back in, just giving it one more twist around the barrel. This will give you more definition in the front. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna hold it for slightly longer in the front. Let that cool down. Oof, it's hot. It is hot. Kids, do not try this at home. <laughs> so once again, going in, twisting, and just letting it hold there for a few seconds. And it's okay to just do the, the two strands in front. Yeah, I think yeah. that's nice because it gives you just a bit more of a cool in front, and at the back, it's still quite nice and natural. Soft, yeah. Soft, yeah. And then do you coat these out as well? Yes, yeah, so I'm going to let that cool down just a little bit more. While I do that, I'm going to go in with a Bumble and Bumble product just to give the roots a little bit more of a lift. Mm. So you can just lift the roots. <laughs> Which way? Wait, hold on. <laughs> Turn this way. So we've lifted the root there. You can apply a little bit of... <laughs> <laughs> you can apply a little bit of powder in the roots and then just... We've applied a little. We were too keen. Too generous. Yeah, too generous. I'll have to go out tonight, I'm all made up. You are all made up. Mm. So once again, so don't do like right on top so you, you don't want to see it. And then you go back in here, a little bit more powder. This also helps just lift the roots. Just to give you a little bit more texture to the hair. Mm. So we do the same thing on the other side. Um, but Sash, you don't find Bumble and Bumble in South Africa, so we... Is there something similar? There's a lot of similar products here. You can get a product from Schwarzko... Schwarzko... <laughs> I don't know how to say that, but that brand. Yeah, that's And they also brand. have a texturizing powder. Okay. So there's lots of other brands that do have it. I just really like the Bumble and Bumble. Mm. But if you do have someone going overseas, they can get it for you. Yeah, which that's is great. Stock up. Stock up. I can't believe we don't get it here, though. But we don't get much products mm. here. Uh, sadly. Sadly. So now I'm gonna go in with a brush like this just to gently also tame the flyaways. I don't take it right through the curls. It's just for the surface on top. And also we did a middle parting. Yes. Yeah. So you can section the hair however you want. And then in the front here I like to always just run my fingers through it and give it a little bit more texture. I'm going to finish it off with a little bit more hairspray. You can see how these curls that we've redone here have a little bit more of a curl in it and it looks really, really nice and it's framing the face quite beautifully. <laughs> As you can see, also the curls are going outwards, so it gives that beautiful frame mm -hmm. to the face. So you can close your eyes for me. I'm just going to give it a little bit of a spray and that will just help hold the hair a little bit more. So run your hairspray throughout the hair. To finish off, I'm going to finish off with an H&M Gloss It Over Finishing Spray. This is really nice because it helps tame the flyaways and also gives your hair that beautiful shine. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you'd use that sparingly in case it looks too... Yeah, too don't oily. overdo yeah. this. Yeah. And then also spray it a little bit further away from the hair, so not too close, and just go all the way around. Use it sparingly, she yeah, but said. <laughs> you know what I mean. You'll know when to stop. Then you can just literally with your hands or with a brush just tame the flyaways on top. And we've got a beautiful natural curl. Cool. And there you have it. Simple. Easy peasy. What's nice is that if you like have this look for the day and then in the evening you want to put a little bit more curl in it, you actually can. Mm -hmm. And you can do it to the front, you can do it like just to a few sections, you don't have to do it to the whole head. What do you think? I love. Love, love, love. Alright, jylle, so ek hoop jylle het iets geleer van die lieflike tash. Um, ja, so ek gaan ook sommer die krultangie onder vele link. So sy gesê, um, sy het haar by kliks gekry, ek weet ek het myne ook by kliks gekry. So, super makkelijke haarstel wat jy sommer chop chop kan doen. Um, en ja, dan sien ek jylle volgende week. Bye! Hi everyone! So today we're going to do a 
be doing a so today we're gonna be doing a very basic hairstyling. So today we're gonna be doing <laughs> Okay. Hi everyone. Jammer my one is bite to gemok and it is not for me. So for school it's not I'm going to go to Hi! Easy! Los for Tata. Tata, los for Kenny. Stop it now. Lay. Tata, lay your bed. Nice to start going. And it's still. 